Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain concept of virtual memory in operating system. Uh, so let's start with a simple requirement of memory. Whenever we execute any application, in order to execute that application, CPU uh, that application has to be brought in memory. Now CPU can execute instruction which are available in memory. CPU actually uh, don't interact directly with hard disk because there are some constraint like if a CPU going to interact directly with hard disk uh, it will cause lot of delay so here what will happen when we execute any application when we double click on any software which is installed in our machine that uh, program or software will be loaded in RAM and then CPU start executing instruction of that application or software so uh, this is a simple scenario now uh, in this approach if the size of program is larger than the memory available in system so here we are having let's say our ram is 512 mb and the program size is 1 gb so how this program can be executed so simple answer for this question is this program cannot be executed if we are going to follow this approach that entire program has to be loaded in memory so the problem is how to execute a program which need higher memory uh, than which uh, capacity of system so here comes role of virtual memory so virtual memory actually there is no such memory in a system virtual memory actually use a hard disk to provide this service so in virtual memory in hard disk one uh, some some space actually uh, allotted for virtual memory and that space will be used in such a way that uh, uh, it will give a illusion to user that the memory available in the system is very high so we are considering a system with a less memory so if you can see we are having a memory with less capacity but the virtual memory is double of ram so this virtual memory give a illusion to user that ram uh, the memory available in this system is with this size and uh, this partition actually uh, in our memory management paging technique is used what is paging our memory actually divided into fixed size partition and that partitions are known as frame similar uh, partition also done with program or application so application also divided into same size partition those partition known as pages so whenever a application loaded in memory any page can be loaded in any frame that technique is actually known as paging so here in virtual memory we are having our ram and in this ram uh, we can see there is only two frame so this ram can accommodate only two pages so two frames are there and in order to represent these two frame only one bit is sufficient so if you can see in this four address first bit is common zero and in this one first bit is common one so zero is representing first frame one is representing second frame and in every frame there are four bytes can be uh, stored so in order to represent four different combination we need two bits information so if you can see uh, the first information we can be achieved by can be retrieved by 0 this is the frame number and 00, 0 this is the byte number so this is the first byte second byte three byte and fourth byte and so on so and in case of virtual memory we are having here four frames so in order to represent these from four frames two bits are required and in every frame uh, there are four bits so again there is two more bits so four total bits will be required for virtual memory and three bits required for physical memory and this virtual memory actually provide a illusion to user that the uh, RAM is actually this size it means a program with this size can be executed so we are considering uh, a application this application is the same size as virtual memory but our ram is half of 
this application so what will happen this application will be loaded in virtual memory now in order to execute uh, this application this application has to be in ram so now what will happen one of uh, whatever page is required that page will be loaded in memory so initially if you can see uh, all pages available with virtual memory there is no page in ram so there is a table this table actually specify which page is loaded in which frame plus there is one more attribute uh, this attribute actually uh, specify whether that page is valid or invalid so let's have a look on this table so if you can see a uh, valid bit is 0000, 000, 000 for all pages so the meaning of zero is that this page page number zero is not available in ram now let's say cpu wants to access a data of this location whatever data is stored on this location cpu wants to access so what will happen so this is the address which has to be uh, fast data stored on this address has to be fast so this address will be divided into two partition one partition this is page number second partition this is offset so here we are having four pages and in order to represent four pages we need two bits so out of four these two bits are for page number these two bits are for offsets so if you can see this is the address of first byte in second page so our page numbering is starting from 0 1 2 3 so this is 0 page 1 page 2 page and 3 page so this is page number 1 if we look at the these two bits the decimal of these two bits are 1 so it has to be checked whether this page number 1 is available in ram or not and who will provide this information this page table this information the page number 1 entry will be checked here so uh, uh, here the valid bit is 0 it means this page is not available so whenever a page is not available in ram or whenever a page is found invalid that is known as page fault okay so in case of page fault what will happen first of all this page will be loaded in the memory in a, any frame it can be loaded in any available frame now we need to specify after loading this page in memory that page number one uh, loaded in which frame so our frame numbering is starting from 0 and 1 so page number 1 is loaded in frame 0 so this entry will be changed and if you can see here the valid bit turns 1 page number 1 loaded in frame number 0 and this valid bit become 1 uh, now it's denoting that page number 1 available in RAM so now uh, let's see the address conversion from virtual address to physical address so now now this entry is available with page table so again this is uh, steps will start page number will be searched in pa uh, sorry uh, okay the page number from this address will be searched in this table so here this uh, valid bit is 1 it means this entry is valid so corresponding this page number frame number will be fast so this frame number will be fast now he, he, uh, here we are having only two frames and in order to represent these two frames only one bit is sufficient so the total number of bits in ram or in physical memory is three bits whereas in virtual address four bits number of bits used for offset will be same in virtual and physical memory both so from here frame number is fast which is zero and from this address offset will be taken as it is so these two bits are for offset these two zero zero will be taken and frame number will be taken from this table so this address is become now zero 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 so data is stored on this address so this is the first byte and this byte will be fast so this is the way how virtual memory works now let's say uh, the next address which has to be processed or a CPU wants to access a data stored on this address 0111 1, 1, 1. 
so first of all the corresponding page number will be searched in this table so this page number is 1 and when this page uh, this page table is searched this page number is found here and the valid bit is 1 it means this page number already available in ram so whenever a page number is found valid that is known as page hit so in case if page is not available in ram page miss or page fault and in case if that page found in memory uh, that is known as page hit now uh, let's take one more example we are having we are taking this address so uh, how to access this address how the conversion of this address will be uh, done so we are having address 1111 first of all page number will be taken from this address so the page number represented by these two bits 11 and this is the decimal of 3 so now this entry this page table will be searched and if you can see here entry for this page number is invalid it means this page number is not available in ram so page fault is there now second step that page has to be uh, taken in ram for execution so this page will be brought in memory third after bringing that page in memory this entry will be changed and it will be filled with the corresponding frame so page number 3 now available in frame number 1 and this valid bit turns 1 and after doing this one again start fetching instruction for this address so now again it will check whether this page is available in table so page number 3 available in table with valid bit 1 it means that page is available in RAM frame number will be taken from here and offset will be taken from here and the corresponding address will be accessed so here uh, in our virtual memory there are 4 pages so in order to represent 4 different combination 2 bits are sufficient and in case of physical memory we are having 2 pages so number of bits for representing 2 different combination is 1 so in virtual memory 2 bits are for page number and in physical memory 1 bit for page number now size of page so we are considering our page size is 4 byte this is not the actual size only for uh, example and in order to dump, uh, represent 4 different combination because uh, our each address can represent a single byte there will be a address for every single byte in memory we are considering that part so 2 bits will be for uh, every byte in page same scenario here so 2 bits for page offset and 2 bits for page number so total bits in virtual address 4 and here 3 so you can use the same technique to find out or to solve the question on virtual memory so we are having one more example here let's say number of bits in virtual address are 15 so number of bits are 15 in virtual address and number of bits in physical address are 12 so the total number of bits in physical address are 12 and here it's given number of bits used for offset 10 so from this total number of bits which are 15 we are considering virtual address only 10 bits are reserved for offset so uh, if we take off 10 bits from this address we are left with 5 bits so these 5 bits are used for virtual page number so 5 bits can represent total number of value 32 so it means 15 bits for virtual address in which 10 bits are for offset there will be 32 pages and there will be 32 page entry in the page table so as the virtual address space will increase size of page table also will increase because in page table there will be entry for every virtual page doesn't matter that page is available in ram or not so in order to understand this problem look at this one if a machine is having 64 bit addresses and every page size is 1024 
bytes so what is the size of page table so this is the size of page so it means in a page there are 1024 bytes and in order to point out one byte we need one address so we can say these many number of address can be represented by 10 bits because 2 to the power 10 is 1024 so we find out that 10 bits are for page itself uh, this is also known as offset and if we subtract this 10 bits from 64 we are left with 54 bits and these bits are used for virtual pages so the total number of virtual pages will be possible 2 to the power 54 and this is a very huge number and uh, the page table will be having that much entry so here now let, uh, let's see the performance is issue with virtual memory whenever a virtual address has to be converted into a physical address or a virtual whenever a virtual address has to be accessed so first of all that virtual address actually serves in a page table the virtual page number will be extracted from virtual address and that page number actually serves in page table and that page table actually also stored in RAM so whenever a virtual address has to be accessed there will be one access for page table that page table itself is stored in RAM after accessing this page table the corresponding frame number will be extracted out and uh, then the data stored on that physical address will be accessed so there will be total to memory access for every virtual address okay so first access one memory access uh, this is required to access page table and another memory access that is required to access or fetch our actual data so for every virtual address uh, there are two memory access so this is a issue with virtual memory and the another issue is that huge virtual address space result in huge page table so there will be a overhead on storing page table in memory so these are the performance issue uh, in the next lecture of this series i will explain translation lookaside buffer plus page replacement algorithm thank you very much for watching